screen. What an inclusion he is. Uh, when he plays well, generally so too do the Crows. So we're ready to go. Top four spot on offer for the Dogs. A mathematical opportunity for the Crows if they were successful today in making the eight. Griffin haven't played well here historically the dogs won just two of their last 12 boy haven't we used that a bit here's Johnson <laughs> Johnson goes inside 50 looking for Hill had a bit of a juggler slippery conditions been a bit of light rain here in the warm-up was from Cooney to Johnson gets an open look at the goal the old man oh, has kicked an incredible goal from the boundary amazing comeback Looking forward to this one, it should be a beauty. Sunday afternoon at the Dome, the roof is closed, bounce goes towards Graham, knocks it down, Jackson had his kick smothered, it spills to Ward, Ward kicks inside the forward 50, how will this one bounce? Well, very high, Minson, not sure he should have taken clean possession, dragged off a would-be kick, ball spills towards Nahas, so good last week with 30 possessions. Well done there again by Grimes, like him, tall defender, used Jackson, eventually though it fills... Gilby's boot, and he's put it through for a goal. He found it in the pack and popped it through. Uh, Peveril going to Johnson, as Ox said uh, before the match, that should be an interesting one to keep an eye on. Friday night football, Scott McLaren turns 40 today. Knocked down by Hudson, socket off the ground by Watson, Peveril left it behind, McVeigh, the acting skipper, did pretty well, Stanton to love it, stolen by Griffin. Hudson feeds it forward. Johnson goes down towards the half-forward line. Ackermanis is in front, right on the 50. Murphy, 60 metres out. Goes along the ground, down towards full forward. Minson clips it across towards Hahn. Sharp angle, good-looking kick. Oh, that's the start. The Bombers have not touched the football. Winmar Liberatore started for the match. Footscray kicking with the breeze. It's substantial. Vitovic and Wine. A free kick immediately from the centre. And it's coming back to Coleman at centre half forward. So Coleman to put Footscray deep into attack. Hawkins at the back. Still with Hawkins. Now Del Rey, who's been in spectacular form to Grant. Early goal to Footscray. What a start. It's just the start they've got foot spray. On the Bombers. Welcome to John Russ and also the Dipper. We'll get to you in a moment, but Dipper, as we start the match, Friday night footy, the Bombers kick to the left. Big crowd building here, huge atmosphere. Top of the table clash here, and Chris Grant gets the first effective kick of the match out wide. Montgomery and O'Donnell, and Smith comes into Shepherd for Montgomery around the body, kicks the ball to centre half forward. Hudson uh, in the front spot, Hardwick at the back. Grant read it well, hooks the ball back. Puts it back close. The umpire waits. I think he's got the first goal. He's got it. He's struggled to kick them in recent weeks. And he has got them off to a magnificent start. Boyd back into the side for the Dogs. And Scott Lysett takes over in the ruck for West Coast. First hands to Boyd. Lysett goes to ground. Shuey, Gap gives it up. Gowers. And the dogs can move through the middle. Boyd, a deep entry. Schofield works off Cordy. Rough head. Across to Wallace. 30 out. Needs a bounce. Bending back and goes all the way. The dog strike first. Extraordinary opening 30 seconds. I'd like to see him come out of the goal square. Yeah, one on one. Round 11 underway here on a Saturday night at Etihad Stadium. Bulldogs and Lions. Martin in the ruck against Minson. There's Wallace with the first touch. Little give to McRae. One, two, hoping for it from Liberatore. Now he gets it, courtesy of Cramer, and he's away. McRae has been excellent this season. Kicks to the top of the square, and Williams is there. Got a crummer coming through. Good running here. Picked up beautifully by Rover. How's that for a start, Western Bulldogs? Brendan McCartney would be pretty pleased with that. He would be absolutely pumped with that. That is just what the Western Bulldogs needed. They won the clearance, which is to be predictive, really. But when they go inside forward 50, they actually rarely score goals. Only 20% of their forward 50 entries do they actually score a goal. At this stage of the game, just 40 seconds in, they're one from one. Perfect start. Good contest from Tom Williams. He was held by his direct opponent there, but he didn't.
in him tonight. Drew, back to you. Thanks, Barra. Well, Scotty Wine won the toss for the Bulldogs, and they'll go right to left in the first quarter, and Wine is in the first ruck, goes up against Michael, who hits the deck pretty hard. Whistle goes, and it's going to be Bulldogs free, taken quickly by Liberatore. Out wide, he comes to Contessa, up towards half forward. Darcy is there with Hudson. They've got behind the defenders, and the first goal could be in the first minute. Hudson shoots and gets it. Well, good play there by the Bulldogs, uh, quickly out of the centre there, Drew, and that's one of their uh, the good parts of the game, is they move the ball on very quickly, and uh, their forwards are already, already uh, waiting for them, and you don't get uh, a better person to shot on goal than Paul Hudson. He's just absolutely a dead-eye kick when he's uh, on the run. And... A reasonable sprinkling of crowd all on the western side. You won't see much of them today, but they're going to enjoy the footy. One team's playing for its season, the other one's playing for its pride in a way. So Bontempelli to McRae. Reckon, hey, we're going to call those two names a fair bit today. And if we do, they're going to have a good afternoon. So Burgoyne's got the job on Wallace early. Goes back inside. McLean rolls it through. So does Sydney, good starters. That's as quick as it gets. A really good start from Tim English here in the ruck, getting it down to Bontempelli, and that's why he's so dangerous. He's able to get his hands free and release players like McRae, who just wins a truckload of the footy, and that's where he's dangerous, McRae, taking the game forward by foot, and Mitch Wallace has had a super year, you know, sort of... Right and blue in the crowd. A game of sudden death football. Win and press on, fall short, and think about next year. First final for English. Goes up against Mumford McRae. He's got a lot of football all year. And the dogs are happy to take it. Suckling runs his measure. Oh, he's got close. Runs to about 60. Pulls the trigger. It's a long ball. It is the perfect start for the Western Bulldogs. Off the, sorry, off the uh, off the ball there and give away the free kick. He's certainly man conscious early, which isn't great. Well, they kicked the last 12 against the Giants a couple of weeks back. That's 13 in a row against the Giants. And Suckling kicked one not that dissimilar. Starting alongside Matthew Primus at full forward. As we get underway, it's the round 15 clash between Port Adelaide and the Bulldogs. Darcy in the ruck jumped into Brogan. Brogan took possession. Picked off by West. To centre half forward, Montgomery, such a vital player in this Port Adelaide side. Peter Burgoyne, chance for the Bulldogs early. It's Boyd, gets boot to ball. What a start for the Doggies! Goal inside the first 25 seconds, and there's a bit happening in the middle as well. A lot of hype surrounding the Bulldogs after their performance last year. A lot of pressure on the Fremantle Dockers. Clark is going to be going up against a Roughhead. They both take their eye off the ball. It's Liberatore who gets the first kick down towards the half forward line. McRae takes the mark. Bontempelli takes the mark. Plays on. They've got it inside 50. Here is Bontempelli now. Shoots towards goal and puts through the opening goal in 18 seconds. What a start. <laughs> just making acquaintances. But just the start that the Bulldogs wanted. Ripping it out of the middle with McRae and Bontempelli. And the first goal on the board. Fantastic league with the, uh, with the Swans. And really getting another, an extra little bit of leap in that centre bounce as well. The biggest game these teams have played since the 2016 decider. McRae, not surprisingly, the clearance and low down. It's Bailey Smith, who hasn't missed since making his debut against the Swans here a couple of years back. And he bullets that deep. It's going to test Cunningham. It's going to take them all. And the dogs fly the gates. Well, centre bounce clearance, and we just spoke about McRae and the compare the compare uh, the pair. Sorry, uh, his ability actually inside the stoppage to get the ball moving has been another element to his game. But the Swans they always defend the back position. It's a bit blustery out there, and obviously Smith reacted first. That quick kick out of the stoppage. Street is second, averaging 24 hitouts and plenty of niggle off the ball already. As we get set for the opening bounce from Darwin. Sandilands and Peter Street go up. That's the Dockers through Hayes will be winning the tap. But now it's the Western Bulldogs who grab possession wearing their away strip. Farron Ray bangs the ball forward to the goal front. Going to land in the goal square. It's tumbled through. And the Western Bulldogs have a 
dream start. What a fantastic start for the Western Bulldogs. Farron Ray on the end of on the end of the centre clearance there, and he finishes so well. But you have to look at the end result here, and that's Robert Murth Murphy on the goal line. He just really holds his opponent out under the ball and he allows it to run through. So that's good work by a forward. Doesn't get a possession for it, but I'm sure he'd be very much appreciated by his teammates. One to go, Dennis. Your old team. You can do it tonight with your... Watching your fob pocket. <laughs> Watching his ashtray in the car. Umpires today, McBurney, Jeffrey and McInerney. And away we go in street. Who's been in good form. Knocks it down. Socket off the ground by Eagleton. Driven forward by West. Another possession. Down towards full forward. Grant favoured by the balance. Did it with a palm. The veteran. It is as simple as that, this game of football, is get your hands on it in the middle, critical to win the foot in the middle, and Scott West did that and then belt the hell out of it into the goal square. <laughs> and uh, Chris Grant has had a fantastic past couple of weeks, so uh, some of the defenders down there are going to get plenty of opportunity to get the footy because this Western Bulldog side, they attack with every at every opportunity. But gee, I admire Chris Grant, the way he's finishing off here.